no one was focusing on what is effectively going to be the passengers that are going to go on these these journeys. And so with the revolution, potential near-term revolution in, in pricing and frequency, it was like, how do we go build this infrastructure and build it as fast as possible? We, we look at, obviously, with admiration and excitement, the work from SpaceX, Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic and others. And, but really, they're all very engineering centric. We really want to be the first company to be people centric. It, this is like training for a big event, whether it's climbing Everest or running a marathon. You just don't get off the couch and strap into a rocket and go to space. I had this... Um what they call, they call it the overview effect. I mean, normally you, you have it when you actually are up there for real, but just the way it was done, uh, yeah, I just cried for 30 minutes. We know that William Shatner cried a lot too. Why do you think you cried? What, what was going through your mind? I think for me, it's just the feeling that we are nothing in the scheme of things, that Earth is so beautiful and fragile. Aviation in the 1920s was for the rich. And if it wasn't for flying the rich, we would have never flown the masses. And this will transform over the next couple of years, if not the next couple of decades.